Human Ecosystem Construction. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 303. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 303, January 13th, 2019 edition. One Community's mission, if you're not familiar with it, is to bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and to build self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And last week we talked about permaculture communities. This week I want to talk about human ecosystem construction. Because really, if we're not creating ecosystems that support humanity as a whole, then what are we doing? And the reason why that's significant is because right now, I think most people would realize, would recognize and agree that the ecosystems that we are currently developing, and we are developing them, are not sustainable. Where the life that we're creating for ourselves on this planet, the living environment that we're creating for ourselves on this planet, is not designed to sustain us. We are poisoning our water and our air, and we are using resources faster than we are replacing them. And so one community is meant to solve that challenge in a way that better meets the needs of the individual as well, in a way that is for the highest good of all people and all life on this planet. And so human ecosystem construction for us is looking at the foundations of a human ecosystem. And you can see the, 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 found, the main foundation of that happening in the background of this video right now, which is food, energy, and housing. So we've designed seven different sustainable village models designed to work in cohesion with the environment and to be built with sustainable infrastructure instead and, and renewable com components as much as possible or recycled components as much as possible. But we're also combining that with the emotional foundations of sustainability. So the physical foundations of a human ecosystem are food, energy, and housing. The emotional foundations of a hum of human ecosystem construction, which we've identified, are highest good approaches to education, highest good approaches to economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. Consciously and conscientiously taking care of our environments for ourselves, for our families, for our local communities, for our nation, and for our planet, for the global community, for tribe humanity. And so one community is bringing together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all to do that, to create human ecosystem uh, human ecosystem construction models that are open source, they're replicable, and they're designed so they're easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough so that they will become self-replicating, so that the idea will spread on its own and we can create a global cooperative, a global collaborative, working together to expand these human ecosystem construction models even more to create even more open source plans, even more open source resources, so that people can take what it is that we're creating and build even better versions of what it is that we're doing. They can evolve the housing even further, the food designs even further. They can create models that work better in different areas. And so our goal is to build the foundation, to open source and free share and physically build the foundations. Everything that you see happening here in the background of this video, the education program, the social architecture, all these things, economic models, open sourcing and free sharing it all, building it all so that people can come and visit what it is that we're doing, so they can stay in an earth bag home, so they can stay in a shipping container home, so they can stay in a compressed earth block home, so they can experience the education model, see it in action, so that they can eat the food that we're growing and taste the difference, so that they can experience the menu that we're creating with the food that we're growing and access that for free online, to access it all for free online so that they can take the components, the elements that they like the most and replicate them in their own life. And that may be growing a different piece of food that they've never experienced before that they really liked. It may be building a guest home. It may be building a complete home or it may be creating a complete teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub so that they can live a totally different lifestyle and become a part of the world change movement that one community is working to establish. The global transformation 
cooperative and collaborative of people working together for the highest good of all life on this planet to create a world that works for everybody to solve the issue of homelessness global homelessness to solve the issue of global hunger to solve the issue of social injustice and inequality to create places where people with common values whatever those values are can come together and live in harmony with each other and cooperate and collaborate in harmony with everybody else as well working together for a better planet for us all because why the hell not Right? Isn't it the best thing that we could possibly put our mind and energy and time into is creating a world that works for everybody? We think it is, and we want to live this way, and we want to share living this way. And so we are open sourcing and free sharing it as a human ecosystem construction model replicable by anybody, anywhere, with average means coming together, working together, cooperating, collaborating to replicate this for themselves and for others, and hopefully open sourcing and free sharing the evolutions, the adaptations, the modifications, the changes, so that we'll continuously get better and better and better and provide more and more options for people to engage with what it is that we're creating, to share what it is that we're creating, to replicate what it is that we're creating for the benefit of everybody. And so this is what one community is all about. And this is how we are doing human ecosystem construction. So it's modular and scalable, affordable, and open source and free shared for the benefit of everybody. So with that said, here is one week of our all volunteer nonprofits teams, progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of human ecosystem construction. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team fixed our highest good housing online book functionality and created a short code for more easily updating the related code in the future. The core team also finished updating the complete vermiculture bathroom page. This week, we added all the design version 2 graphics and details. You can see some of this work here. Michael Hagler, senior graphic designer and artist, created the six icons shown here. These include the icon for new, most sustainable toilet options page and icons for all the other upcoming sustainable infrastructure pages. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 35th week leading the development of the Murphy Bed Instructions. This week's focus was updating the parts lists, graphics, and layouts to reflect new design changes and brainstorming a new design for the top part of the bed that will house the lights and related wiring. You can see some of this work in progress here. Dean Scholz, architectural designer, continued working on the Earthbag Village. Here's weekly update 145 from Dean. This week's focus, as shown in these images, was continued 3D model updates to the entryway and windows. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team finished our final review of the city center lighting spreadsheet, light placement, symbols, and layers in AutoCAD, and correlating website details. Next is integration of the changes still needed, and we'd say we're about 90% complete with these designs. Anvita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, also continued updating the duplicate city center costs with additional details for the city center HVAC designs. She improved categorization of all items and added more images and reference URLs. She also researched HVAC parts lists and spec sheets. David Olivero, mechanical engineer and data scientist, continued helping finish the City Center HVAC designs. This week he wrote more content for the tutorial, some of which you can see here. And James Harrigal, student researcher, also completed his sixth week researching the best, safest, and most sustainable paints. This week he finished draft one of the tutorial for purchasing responsible paints. You can see some of this behind the scenes work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team finished work on the open source apiary page. This included adding more resources and completing the section with instructions for building your own hive. You can see some of this work here. 
The core team also did a complete update of the open source GOATS page. This included adding all our latest research, new graphics, and new resources. You can see some of this work here. And Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, completed his second week working on creating an open source icon and symbol set for our permaculture designs. This week he created the 19 icons shown here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best known alternative education programs, including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more, and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team worked on the structural aspects of the Ultimate Classroom. We cleaned up all the content that needed to be removed so we can focus on the structural design and then updated the outside walls to use 2x6s for the frame and added all the planned 2x3 windows. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, continued with his 13th week as part of the marketing team. This week, he added additional keywords for each of the highest good housing models and started all the research for two of the highest good education pages. You can see some of this work here. In addition to this, the highest good network software team consisting of Shubra Mittal, software delivery manager, Jordan Miller, web developer, and Tyler Calvert, full stack software engineer, continued developing the software. This week, the team updated our work week definition from Monday to Sunday to Sunday to Saturday, updated all our README content for new developers, fixed a Redux error, added post slash put actions and reducers, updated routes, fixed a security vulnerability, and improved team access and monitoring to address these in the future, reset the GitHub flow, and continued working on rewriting our leaderboard to use Redux. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards the goal of human ecosystem construction. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our RIP blog. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. Uh, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media and manage your updates there. Uh, if you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. If you'd like the easiest way to help out, well, like the video. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, subscribe to any of the social media networks that we're on that you uh, already participate in. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest, uh, and Instagram, and what else? LinkedIn, Twitter, and uh, Tumblr, Reddit, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible to access our information and to share our information. So if you'd like to help out, share our information. Take a page that you like, share it on social media, uh, share this blog, share this update. And if you're just somebody that follows our progress, has been watching our videos, thanks for watching to the end. If you've donated to our, our, pro, our uh, project, we appreciate that as well. 100% of donations go towards forwarding our mission. I am not paid for anything that is I'm doing here, and neither is anybody else on the team. So that's uh, very helpful as well. And if you're just supporting us energetically by wishing us well, that makes a big difference too. We say thank you, and until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.